Hi, my loves. It's Kaylin Rose. I hope you guys hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And I'm back. So today's verse of the day is coming from Proverbs. It's Proverbs 18.21. And it says, The tongue has the power of life and death. Those who love it will eat its fruit. So this proverb is one that many should know because I feel like words have the ability to lift people up or tear people down. Like they're literally like swords to cut people deep if you know how to use them wickedly. And so God even um, warns us against idle words. Idle words are ones like, oh, I'll never be in a happy relationship. Oh, things won't ever get better for me or oh my gosh, I'll never be rich. That's idle words. And God's warning actually comes from Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. And he says, but I tell you that everyone will have to give an account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken. Empty means void. You are essentially voiding everything you want to see in your life out of it by speaking that against you saying, oh, I'll never get married. You will never get married by speaking that over your life. God wants us to use our words to build ourselves up and definitely others. You're supposed to say, my husband is already waiting for me and he's going to be so kind, caring and giving or whatever you expect from him. Because why would you wish the worst when you should always be wishing for the best? So you shouldn't let your words be so meaningless god spoke words into the life of the world so he doesn't take words lightly and i had to learn that the hard way because i realized um when i was on my laptop the other day girl i used to talk crazy and i did change that about myself like i used to say everything that came to mind tearing tearing everything up no that is not what god calls us to do but ever since i've been using my words for power i feel it and other people can literally feel it too on them um against themselves like they can speak life over yourself you don't need nobody to speak life over you you feel that positivity stemming from yourself so you don't go in the mirror and say oh i look bad today you better even looking like this oh my god my curls popping yeah, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. That's what I said. Ah! So even if circumstances aren't what they look like, God is saying, speak life. Because that's what you, how much power you hold. Whether you're a believer or not. This is why people can still become famous. Because in their heart, they're like, nah, I'm the one. I'm chosen. I'm going to make it. So I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. And I'm praying for you all. Bye.